welcome to the Desert Sailor. We're Lake Mead sailing enthusiasts who want to share our passion for the sometimes wild and often serene personality of this fickle desert oasis. We're based out of the Lake Mead Marina and hope to share with you our experiences discovering the many coves, marinas, and destinations this unique sailing experience has to offer. So hop aboard. Let's go sailing in the desert. Hi everyone, it's Captain Naomi and welcome to another episode of the Desert Sailor. Today we're headed off to one of the very first coves that we discovered on this lake and it's called Boulder Wash. are pretty light even though the forecast said they were going to be a little bit stronger but that's typical of Lake Mead. We picked up some lunch at the Marina Cafe restaurant. Definitely the best thing at the Boathouse restaurant. Really yummy. Right there is the entrance to the Hoover Dam. We are passing on the basically east side of Sentinel Island. And there is a weather marker right there. So see? Kind of made it pretty. <laughs> but now at least it won't move. Yay! I think it's worth putting up our drifter sail. So if you always want to know where your tack, head, and clue are, you put it away in your bag. Make sure. This is what I like to do. They're tied together and that they're folded inside the bag so that it's not twisted and then it's way easier to get them. And then you just untie this. And we have this tied when not using the sail to this so that it already is nicely fed and held on at the mast. As it's pretty windy, you don't want to let this come out of the bag all by itself right away. I kind of get rid of the bag and I make like a mesh tie down with my sheets. This is a really big sail, so if it gets away from you, and taking it straight out of the bag, if it hasn't been put in the bag correctly, then it doesn't come out. <laughs> One of my new crew members showed me this new stopper knot that I didn't know of, and it's perfect for this thin sheet that is the sheet on our drifter sail. Because we were doing like a figure eight on a bite, and uh, so that it would not slip through this fair leaf, which is pretty big. Um, but he showed me the Ashley stopper knot, and Jake's going to hold the camera, and I'm going to show it to you. All right, so it's going to, I take about eight inches, and I say what's called, do a Mickey Mouse ear with it over top, and then a reverse Mickey Mouse ear. So now it's like glasses. Then take this Mickey Mouse here, put it through there, and then to not to block it, put the snake, the bitter end, through that Mickey Mouse here. Thank you. 
think this is our first episode in light winds. And we're going to leave the sails up and go into Boulder Canyon under sail and see what happens. Because it's coming from the perfect direction. Perfect temperature. And we're still under sail, so that's fun. And we're super relaxed. But that's how you can guesstimate how much time till the sunset. Each finger is 15 minutes. Put on the motor because we have to make way a little faster than we were and I think the wind is gone now. So we're just approaching the Narrows part of Boulder Canyon. Did that in record time! I set up my fenders, I got my dock lines ready, and I got my hammock just in time to go through the narrows. So Boulder Wash, where we're going to be staying overnight, is just as you get outside of this small part of the canyon, which is the Narrows. Take a left. It's mid-October and it's 5.30 at night and I'm already feeling chilly in a t-shirt. Uh, when you live in the desert, you really do get used to it being hot or there's people who've lived here so long they can't stand it anymore so they get out but I love the heat and so I know it's gonna be really cold tonight <laughs> well cold for me anyway I think the temperature said it's going to go down to um, 55 right up there you can't see because my camera uh, you can see a light so at night you can see where the entrance is so if you pass this you've gone too far you literally just come out of the narrows and then it's right around this corner so the first time we discovered this cove was completely by accident it was our first overnight on Lake Mead and we weren't quite sure how to anchor on the beaches um, that everybody kept telling us we could do and then anchoring in the deep water is impossible because it's so so deep and then so we were coming back from Virgin Basin on our way back uh, we spied into this cove and I saw one of these no wake markers and I've now determined I don't know if it's maybe an over assumption but that when you see these no wake markers um, it is maybe an indication that boats like to hang out there. So we approached it, and as we came around the corner, we did see the first poop dock we'd ever seen. And we're like, what the heck is that? And um, we moored up to it, and it was awesome. So this is actually our third time here at Boulder Wash. Um, when we first discovered this poop dock, <laughs> we called it Diarrhea Cove, because <laughs> we just thought it was so weird. But there was like this washroom and this fish clean-out station right in the middle of this really beautiful cove. Anyway, this is Poop Dock uh, number four on our Poop Dock tour. 